Hey guys, welcome to another video of Raspberry Pi 4. I'm Mehdi Shakil. So guys, in this video, I will show you preparing your Raspberry Pi 4 for 1080p full HD video editing and rendering. So let's start, shall we? Here I am using Raspberry Pi 4 4GB RAM variant. Now first of all, what you need to do, you have to overclock your Raspberry Pi to get the maximum performance from its resources. To overclock Raspberry Pi, there is a tool named Commander Pi. I am gonna take use of it to overclock my Raspberry Pi. If you don't know how to get that on your Raspberry Pi, you can find a video about installing Commander Pi in my channel. So watch that video and install Commander Pi on your Raspberry Pi. Then from here, set the value for your CPU and GPU and the voltage. I am using the recommended one. Then click on apply and reboot. And it will reboot your Raspberry Pi and start with overclock. Now we need to have a base video editor, of course for free and capable of editing 1080p video. So here I will use KDN Live for it. So open up terminal and type sudo app install KDN Live and press enter. And it will start installing KDN Live video editor in Raspberry Pi 4. It will take some time, so you have to wait. Ok, now the installation has been completed. Now let's open the video editor from menu and now let's import some 1080p video footage. Let's make some cut and apply some effect on the clip. And finally, let's render it. So now you can see our Raspberry Pi is ready for 1080p video editing and rendering. The main challenge is how much time it will take to render the output video. If you want to know or see live, let me know in the comment section. I will make a full video on it from editing a 1080p YouTube video, rendering it and uploading it to this channel. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.